What's up, Iron Breakers? We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of Dark Souls. We're going to be continuing the Iron Breaker playthrough with the fattest of rolls. <laughs> oh man, still fat rolling through it. Uh, in the last episode, we killed the Demon Fire Sage and we also got the Flame Ember. Not that we need the Flame Ember for the build. It's again one of those completionist things, so I just went ahead and got it. And I got it in a pretty comedic way, if I can say so myself. I think I've tried a couple of times to run through the, um, to run through those dudes. Oh wow, really? I wasn't able to like run beneath him. I guess that only works if you're like um, fast rolling. But as I was saying, I never really tried running through the, um, through those burrowing thingamajigs. What do you call those anyways? Friggin... I completely forgot the name of them. The worms? Are they called worms? Whatever. The burrowing things. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so, we just ran past all of them. I think I tried doing that, and I think I messed it up a couple of times. Uh, not in the last episode. Last episode, we were able to get that on the very first attempt. But I had previously, I think I tried doing that. Didn't work out so well. So we're going to go up here, mostly because there's... Oh, get staggered. Get staggered for days, son. Mostly because I think there's an item in here. Uh, I think there's some kind of a soul item. And again, it's just a completion of the thing. God, I like this axe. Even though it's not dealing tremendous amounts of damage. It's just a nice axe to use because it's a big ass axe, but it's got the um it's got the moveset of the battle axe, which I can really appreciate. So I'm actually terribly sleepy today. Today is Sunday. Um during the weekends. Uh, you know, when you have a kid, you have to kind of uh Try to make sure that he sees as much of his grandparents as possible. So during the weekends, I usually try to have him on my parents' house as much as I can, as well as um, obviously we had uh, fam family over for my wife on Saturday. So it's been pretty busy weekend. I've also had a friend of mine who I hadn't seen in like two years come over to uh, see my son. So like I said, really busy weekend. Hadn't had a lot of sleep. So today I'm very, very sleepy. So it's going to be a more chill uh, attitude video, um, we're just gonna go, well, I mean, really chill attitude video, and I'm gonna fight the friggin' centipede demon. <laughs> lucky me! Aren't I the lucky one? But, um, yeah. We're gonna see if we can do a bunch of, oh wow, I just realized something. I just realized what comes after the centipede demon, and I don't want it. No, I mean, after the centipede demon is the chaos. I'm sitting here telling you guys this is going to be a more chill video. You know, you're just going to chillax and stuff. And I'm going to have to fight the bed of chaos in this video, most likely. That's, that's great. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. But I'm sure we can, uh, I'm sure we can, we can make something happen. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to Bloodborne. I've also been playing uh, another game, which I'm hoping... Oh, crap. Oh, my legs! My legs! I've been playing uh, another game that I can't really talk about right now because it's still under embargo, but I'm hoping to give you guys a video on that pretty soon. It's an interesting game, top-down shooter, pretty cool. Uh, we can actually summon Solaire here, I think, but he's pretty useless, so I'm not really gonna give myself the trouble of summoning Solaire. Ironbreaker needs to go through this voyage alone. Now, the problem that we have here is that we're gonna be running through that lava so slow that we might actually die. We might actually die. This 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 is bad. But hey, we're starting off the video with a boss fight, so there's that to it. Oh man. This guy actually makes the frames just tank. I'm pretty sure the frame rate is gonna tank as soon as he drops down here. Oh actually it didn't. It's holding on pretty good. Not too shabby. Okay, so the way I like to fight this guy is essentially, you guys already know it by now. Um, sometimes I even wonder why I keep killing him, because you can kind of skip him. Oh my god, look at that damage. I need to not run through this, that's the problem. I think if you run through it, you actually take additional damage. There's something like that. And the fact that it's 60 FPS, you also take more damage because of that, so yeah. Ow. This is great. This is amazing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hide out here. 
until he comes all the way into this platform. And then we're gonna beat the ever-living shit out of him. Come on. Come on, Centipede. What you got? Something that's very hard for me is that I'm very used to dodging. I'm gonna have to block. Oh my god, it hurts. Do it again. Do it again now. Do it again, do it again, do it again now. Come on. Ain't quite done. You wanna come over? No? That's fine, dude. I can stay here and friggin' block you all night long. All night long. All night. Come on. Oh my god. He's just not gonna leave there, is he? You're gonna force my hand. That was terrible. And it dicked me over just so hard. Yep, just like I thought. He's, he's, he just spams the same move over and over until he kills you. Now that's great, that's great, Centipede. Thanks a lot. I really don't like when when bosses do this. Like, you're supposed to fucking move over there and get to the area that I'm in so that I can fight you. Instead, you're just like, nope. Nope, speaking of which, I'm gonna kindle. We're gonna need some potions for this. We're gonna need some Estus, some Sunny D. First death of the video. I did say I'm sleepy, didn't I? I do believe I mentioned that, so I get a pass. Can I get a pass, please? pass for sleepiness. No, you don't get a pass because you're a slacker and you've been a slacker your whole life, McFly. You're a slacker, just like your old man. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where I got those Back to the Future references all of a sudden, but it was like, ah, whatever. Okay, so we got humanity restored. Now let's kindle. What the hell happened? Oh yeah, someone, um, Someone kindled a bonfire. Which bonfire did I boot? Oh, it was probably Anne Orlando. Someone, someone's kindling the Anne Orlando bonfire, I'm guessing. So I don't think that Solaire is going to be here because I didn't... Um, you'd have to talk with him at, at Anne Orlando or something. And I'm kind of skipping a portion of Solaire's quest line. Which is fine. I'm sure he'll live through it. Okay, so no cinematic this time around, just a big gigantic centipede bastard wanting to murder me, which is great. Not being able to fast run through here is a pain. A pain zores. Oh, that was great, I almost died. I wanted to do the double chug, for some reason I didn't, it's fine. Let's go get our souls. Now the centipede demon's gonna come all up in here. I'm gonna try and see if I can hug a friggin' wall to see if he com comes a little bit closer. You gonna come closer? Oh, you're gonna do the same? Oh, wow! Okay. Oh, that was great. No, that was, that was that's perfect. I love that because you just you just can't dodge it if you're fat rolling and you can't block it either apparently. That was great. No, thanks. Thanks. I, I appreciate that. Appreciate that, you fuck. Oh my god. Syntopad Demon and Fat Roll is gonna be extremely frustrating. I'm considering stripping down my armor, but that would be a, a dishonor to the Iron Breakers. You cannot strip down your armor. If you're an Iron Breaker, you stick with your heavy armor like a man. Like a man! And you face your challenges head on. Just keep throwing yourself at the monsters until you die repeatedly. I love the damage this lava deals. Let me switch up to 30 FPS. See if that improves our lava damage a little bit. Not too much. Okay, let's go get this. Let's not hug the wall, because hugging the wall apparently just gets me completely wrecked. So let's just try to... Once again, get him to move as much over here as we possibly can. Here comes the arm. Thank you. Anything else you'd care to send over? Bastard. Because I can't dodge this, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep running towards you. Come on. Be a man about this. That was about time. That's it. 
Oh crap, this is gonna hurt. Oh, you missed me. Oh, come on, let me chop you down. I'm gonna chop you down. Or maybe you'll stomp me to death and I'm burning in lava. And he stomps me again. This is great. This is just like perfect. This is like textbook perfect boss for me right here. Centipede, is that the best you can do? Little grapple. I give a damn. Ah, oh, iron breaker all the way. Huh? How you like them apples? Yeah, I didn't think so. Friggin' bastard. Okay, so we're gonna have to change something around. We're gonna have to do this. Uh, actually, it doesn't even matter. I just change it to this. I mean, fat roll is fat roll. Who gives a damn how fat it is? Let's go. Let's go. So we killed the centipede demon, this filthy bastard. It's been a while since I died so many times on a boss. I've always wondered what's behind this door. I think there, there's probably going to be a theory online somewhere that's going to tell you what's behind that door, but I can't remember what it is, or if I ever even look that particular door up. I know that you can't actually do anything at this point in the game in there, but... Okay, so Solaire will appear in here if you're doing the Solaire quest line, which we aren't really doing. It is the one thing that we're not doing. Let's go ahead and level up. Go ahead and put points there and there. Now I'm going to do the quick version of this place because I am not a fan of it. I am not a fan of it at all. I might miss out on an item or two. Not 100% sure. I don't think I will miss out on items, but if I do miss out, I'm sorry, guys. I just hate this area. I just do not like this area at all. Not one bit. Not one ounce. Not a damn thing about this area that I like. It's just bad. It's just plain bad. So the easiest way to do Lost Isolith is actually to just follow the, the yellow brick road. I always say the yellow brick road on this particular thing, but it's just, you just gotta follow this log thing that I'm stomping on right now. You just like, follow it home. There's gonna be an item in here, it's gonna be a soul. You can go back up in the log to prevent fire damage. Obviously you need the orange charred ring, I'm assuming most people know this by now. Which you get by killing the um, the boss that we're at just now, or by chopping off one of his limbs. Either or. So, as I was saying, I don't think there's any further items there. There's obviously a friggin' torso there that will wreck your face if you go too close. If, however, you stick to the yellow brick road, they tend to leave you alone. Are there more of them? Or is it just me? Jesus Christ! I want to say there's more of them. You know, that there was this one time where I came here and I essentially killed all of these things. Oh, is that one bigger? No, he's not bigger, he's just like higher. 
Holy crap. I want to say there's a ton more of them than what I remember, at least. It's pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up. I mean, just look at this. You can't even see the friggin' scenario. What the hell? And then the 60 FPS dicks me over. There we go. Now let's go ahead and open this up. Soul of a hero. Or of a great hero. Either either works. Come here. See, you, could, you couldn't climb up either. It's a 60 FPS mod, dude. Messes you up. Okay, so I know that there's another statue in here somewhere. It seems that they've added more, but they've greatly reduced their aggro radius. I'm not sure which patch they added these on, but I remember the last time I came in here, pretty sure there weren't as many of them. I mean, just look at this! They can barely move. You can't, you can't... I used to, when I killed all of these back in the day, a long time ago, when I cleared this entire area with a bow, I had to actually aim. Now, it, the whole place looks like you couldn't be able to shoot off an arrow without hitting anything. What the hell happened? I mean, look at that! There's like friggin' three of them on top of each other. Insane! I guess they really want you... I guess it's just them emphasizing. It's like, you're supposed to go here. I actually don't like that. I preferred it when there was more freedom. Again, I could be wrong. Maybe this is how it was all along and I never noticed it, but... I want to say there's... I mean, look at that! There's three of them right there on top of each other. There's three of them right there on top of each other with a fourth one. What the fuck? There's way too many of them. There's a lot more than I remember. That's damn short. Anyway, let's go ahead and activate... Activate the bonfire that's over here. Ding. And as we do that, we're going to have to bust a couple of humanities because... I'm going to want to go ahead and just beast mode this friggin' bonfire. We're going to fully kindle this bad boy because we're going to be doing the Bad of Chaos. Bad of Chaos, so much fun. So much fun. Also, reverse hollowing, very useful because you do get invaded by Kirk one final time in here if you want to complete the, the Kirk set. Which, no, we're not going to use... Kirk set, Iron Breaker, nah, nah, not gonna happen. Just not gonna happen. But we still have a lot of stuff to do before we actually get to... Before we actually get to do the Bed of Chaos. So I'm not even sure if the Bed of Chaos is gonna be this particular episode, because there's so much stuff to do in Lost Isolith. Uh, we need one more Kindle. And my game froze. And it's back. Okay. I'll, it always freaks me out when the game freezes. I'm like, no, it's going to corrupt my save data. It's going to kill my save data. Don't do that. <clears throat> so there's two ways that you can go up. You can go from the way over there on the left. Or can you? Not even sure if you can. Yeah, I think you can. Or you can go over here to the path on the right. <clears throat> now, once you're done here... You actually don't need the orange charred ring anymore, but I'm going to leave it on because I'm pretty sure I'm going to die a bunch of times and I'm probably going to have to make this run multiple times. So I'm just going to get used to doing the run uh, with the um, with the orange charred ring already on. So here, what you have is a bunch of those statue monsters, which are very, very annoying, and there's just so many of them. I'm not sure if there's items back here or not. Doesn't seem like it. Here's your first one. Get rid of them. Drop them like a bad habit. Oh, it looks like we actually can't go here once we drop on this section. We have to go through the other side. We'll have to take care of all of these. And then there's also going to be the Chaos Eaters. I think that's the name that they have. Which are those little tentacle monsters that show up. This is just like prime candidate for a secret passage right here, but it's not. It's a damn shame. Wasted opportunity. Ow. These are like internet trolls, these guys. That's gonna be their new name. The internet trolls. You know why? Because they flame you all the time. <laughs> I'm so funny. I, sh I should be in a stand-up act right now. That's, that's just... That, oh my god. What? What? I seem to be losing my sanity as I am losing my sleep. It just goes. It just goes fast. 
Any more you internet trolls out there? There you go. There you go. No, don't do that. Why did one of them have to go through? And again, we have like 20 as this flask. We're fine. Looks like we missed one. Now, don't expect me to kill all of these every time. It's just not going to happen. I'm only killing them the first round, the first time around. Next time, we're going to be running through them. Because there's not even a particularly decent reason for you to kill them. Because you, once you run past that dude over there, that Chaos Eater, they don't even follow you anymore. So it's not a problem at all. There's also an item in here. Our soul of Brave Warrior. And these Chaos Eaters are pretty good if you want to farm yourself some, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the Red Chunks. I don't remember what's the name of the Red Chunks, but let's see if I get one. Gimme! Gimme! Hey, it's just Red Type Knight Chunk, right? It's gotta be it. They look pretty cool, though, these monsters. I like the fact that they have the grappling move that they can attack you with, and it will just, like, friggin' eat you. His face. His face! Your face! God damn it! Oh. Did they change him to like look like his face is a little flamey and shit? Sorry, dude. I'm the Ironbreaker, and what you have to say doesn't matter me. Get the backstab in, get the backstab. Oh my god! The ultimate cheese. Here you go, Kirk. Come here. Why are you leaving? I gotta be leaving, Kirk. I got a present for you. I got a present for you. Did I just grind him into oblivion in the middle of the ground? You like that? You like that? Oh yeah, the barbed straight sword. I always wanted one of those. Not really, but there's some people who do builds around that because of the move set. It's got the move set of a long sword with the um, with thrust, and then it's also got. I, I do not like that. That is gnarly. It damages my armor, and I need my armor in this build, dude. I need it. And here you get yourself a spell. Pyromancy Chaos Fire Whip. Which is a beast of a spell, if you know what you're doing with Pyromancy. Which is not really my strong suit, if I'm being completely honest. So let's continue onwards. Let's go get ourselves another item. Uh, there is the fight for the Bed of Chaos, which we will eventually do. I'm not sure if it's going to be this episode. Like I said, we have a lot of stuff to do still here. So one of the things we have to do here is get that one item that I always miss. This item is so frustrating. I think it's, it's a humanity or a soul item, something along those lines. But it is just so frustrating to get it. So you got this item over here, which is Soul of a Hero. Oh, no, wait. I think it's actually a sacrifice ring. A rare sacrifice ring, now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But Oh, hello. How are you doing? Oh, you're still alive? Sorry. I should fix that. It's just, this item is just very frustrating to get, because I always miss... Wait. Oh, we got it first time around. Like I said, rare ring of sacrifice. The trick is, you can't actually drop yourself off where the shiny is. You have to drop yourself off to one of the sides. Which, in this case, as you can see, we dropped off to the right of the shiny, and that worked out. So, that's what you should try doing if you want to get that rare ring of sacrifice. I just usually, like, if I'm on a, if I'm on a run that I'm doing things faster, I don't even get that item. Because it's just such a hassle having to go back and stuff. It's just a bit of a hassle. So, yeah. And it's, it's not even worth it. Hello. How you doing? Doing good? Feeling good? Dying good? Okay, bye-bye. Well, let's continue on through here. There's going to be a bunch of these friggin' internet trolls. And that's the other thing about these statues. The other reason why they should be called internet trolls is because there's so many of them. There's just so many of them. There's so many of them, and they keep flaming. It's the perfect name. It's just the perfect name. That's it. These guys from now on, these guys are called internet trolls. I have the credit to be so. The internet trolls. Come here. Come here, little bastard. I'll teach you to stay out of my comment section. Ooh, the flames are getting to me. The flames are getting to me. I'm gonna become emo and shit. No! Oh. oh my god. That actually hurts. 
Quite a bit. It's a good thing we have 20 Estus flasks. Okay, so we killed Kirk. We killed uh, the other thing. There's a bunch of stuff to do down there. But let's go get our one of our main objectives uh, for coming to the fire zone to begin with, which is right after this dude. I don't think this dude can actually hurt me all that much with this armor, but he is one of the higher level uh, Demon Titanite dudes. I remember I used to call these guys gargoyles, because that's what they remind me of. They remind me of a gargoyle. Come on, you prowling Titanite, whatever the frack people want to call you these days. Oh my god, he almost threw me off. That was terrible. That was terrible. Almost threw me off. You need to not do that. God, my stamina. My stamina is just not regenerating at an acceptable rate. I don't want that. I do want this, though. Oh! Oh! He ran away! Frick. Take that. Not worth it. You gotta be careful about that range, because that range is actually deceptively long. Don't run. Atta boy! Whoa! Also not worth it. I'm gonna get hit. This is bad. Need to back off. Almost got stuck in the tail there. Holy crap, a double hit. Thanks. Thanks for that. Don't mind me. I'll just be drinking. Sipping on my Sunny D. This guy is so dangerous because a lot of times he will push you off the edge. That's essentially why he's so dangerous. But I mean, at the end of the day, he's very much like all the other Type Knight demons. You just stay close, block it off if you can, and just keep whacking at him until he goes. This is gonna hurt. Oh my god, you're gonna slow me down so much. I mean, after this beating, I might have to go back to the bonfire to get some potions for the next section. Oh crap. Ooh, almost got me. Why you gotta be running? I thought you were all big and bad. Come on. Oh my god, he got me in the middle of a swing. It's terrible. When they catch you mid-animation and you just take that extra damage, you really feel it. Also, this guy respawns. So, if you are looking to, like, you know, get a crap ton of Demon Titanite... You can just come to this guy, just kill him over and over and over again. You also got another de demon tide knight catch pull, whatever thingamajig. Oh man, I just reminded myself I haven't gone to Ash Lake yet, have I? Oh, but that's that's right because we still have to do this portion of the quest before we do that. Oh, don't you run away from me! Don't you run away from me! No! The fat roll is real. So, previously, if you weren't a member of the Daughters of, of the uh, of the Daughters of Chaos, and donated thirty humanity, uh, Solaire would actually be here. Because if you don't come through that door, which is the shortcut I told you guys about, and kill this guy, who's got the red eyes. If you don't do that, Solaire goes hollow, and he just goes completely batshit crazy. But we killed him, so we saved Solaire. And also, you can open... Or can you not? Yeah, you can open this shortcut now. I don't think you used to be able to do this, but you can definitely do it now, as you can see here. So yeah. Now we have a shortcut, if for whatever reason we need one, which we actually don't. At least I don't think we do, do we? I mean, it's, one of, it's, a, it's maybe a faster way to get down here, but it's whatever. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So we've got that out of the way, so now we got to go do the Chaos Eaters bit. Now, the Chaos Eaters bit, the reason why it is a little bit tricky is because if you're doing... Uh, if you're doing the Ziegmeier quest line, there's a trick to it. I'm not going to get into details about it, but essentially, you need to damage them before you allow uh, Ziegmeier to just jump down there, because otherwise Ziegmeier can die. And you probably don't want Ziegmeier to die, so let's see if we can do something about that. But he does need to fight. You can't just kill everything and then, you know, go get Ziegmeier. He actually does need to fight. Now, I don't know the specifics of this quest, so I, there is the possibility that I can mess up. Let's hope I don't. 
I've done this quest line before though, and I remember that it is a little bit annoying. <laughs> okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Ziegmeier should be popping up somewhere around the hole. Where are you, Ziggy? Ziggy? Should I even just call him Ziggy? How you doing, Ziggy? Ziegmeier? Ziggy boy? Uh, it doesn't seem like he's here. Hmm. 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 Oh, there he is. Good old Ziegmeier. Now, before we actually get Ziegmeier, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the stuff down here. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Should I do that? I should just do the Ziegmeier part of the quest line. Because otherwise, things are going to get tricky. Because essentially, if these um, Chaos Eaters start chasing after you, what's going to happen is uh, they're going to start falling on the, the holes, because there's a bunch of holes here like that. And once they start falling on the holes, eventually you just screw yourself out of the quest line. Also, you got to be careful not to hit Ziggy, because Ziggy, uh, I think Friendly Fire is enabled on all these NPCs, so you got to be careful not to kill him. You got to be careful not to kill him. There's a Red Tide Knight chunk. Don't spew that garbage at me, you prick. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? You're going to make me kill you is what you're going to do. See? Look at you now. Friggin' bastard. Now then, how am I going to get myself to Ziggy? I think I could just walk through here. And that works, right? Wrong. Very wrong, actually. I don't remember how to get to Ziggy. That's some bullshit. Maybe I can... Oh, I can probably climb that log over there. And that will enable me to get the Ziggy. That's going to be his name from now on, too. Ziggy. Zigmaya of Katarina, also known as Ziggy. Yo, Ziggy. Always sleeping. Look at this motherfucker sleeping right at the edge of a cliff. Mm -hmm. Oh! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. Yeah, I can tell. <clears throat> no, don't tell me. You need not be ashamed, you know. I read for heaven. Hmm. Perhaps the time has come. Now, I think if you talk to him again, he's going to jump on down there. So before he does that, I would very much like to beat the crap out of some of these guys. Well, it doesn't look like we can. Looks like we'll have to fight it fair and square. Why can't I target? Oh, almost had that one. Target some of them, please. Let me target that guy from here. No. No targets whatsoever. Let's try to fire off around like this. Didn't work. Also didn't work. Oh, I definitely don't want to do that. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Friend, I have an idea. A good one, really. I will rush to the dire scene and you can slip away in the confusion. Please, friend. I owe you much more than this. By the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. He's crazy. Holy crap, I almost got myself killed just now. Look at him! You shall feel my wrath! Yeah, Ziegmeier of Katarina kicking ass, not bothering to take names. Like a proper boss right there. I don't know why I was so worried. It seemed like he could pretty much take them all on. Another Red Tide Knight chunk. So, Ziegmeier, how you feeling, Ziggy? What? Look at him go. What a beast. Don't mess with Ziggy. Why, well, you've saved me once again. Dear me, what can I say? I have failed you. <coughs> My dear little... 
Oh, why does he die? What? I think I must have done something wrong with the quest. Oh well, that's a damn shame. I guess uh, we did uh, the quest wrongfully. He's not supposed to die here. He actually shows up uh, dead later on in Ash Lake, but I guess we're going to be missing out on that. So there's still a treasure chest in here that we missed. Ziegmeier quest line is one of the most complicated in Dark Souls. You actually have to kind of read up on it to make sure that you don't screw things up. I think there's like um, some kind of a modifier uh, implemented where it's like if he's... If he's alive in full health, or if he's alive with uh, below a certain amount of health, or whatever. You know, or maybe you don't have to talk with him as many times as I talk with him. I don't know, but there's something along those lines. To the quest line. I don't know exactly where this place is up here. I mean, I, I don't know if there's actually a location that you can come to that will allow you to fall down here to pick up this red type knight slab, but... Hey, if you're into chaos weapons, you probably want to come pick up this slab. And I think that is pretty much all the stuff that's down here. Not 100% sure, but I think it is. Now I just need to figure out which side I need to exit from. So we've got to go to the other side, for starters. Let's go through here. We're going to become poisoned yet again, but like I said, an iron breaker should never... Move his armor, and I know that I'm going to regret saying that, because next up is going to be friggin' It's going to be friggin' bed of chaos, but... Oh well. Although, if we've done everything, and there's nothing left to do, essentially we got to go back to the bonfire, because I need to restock on Estes Flasks before the bed of chaos. And then you guys are going to have one hell of a next episode with me just raging out on the bed of chaos. Just straight up, full rage mode engaged, and just rage out. Yeah, we're probably going to go back to the bonfire at this point. So as per usual, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Leave me all your comments, feedback, all the kinds of good stuff in the comment section below. I don't think I forgot any items. Uh, so yeah, this is um, Lost Isolith, and I guess you guys can tell why I'm not a huge fan of it. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.